Welcome back to the Audio Live Show. And uh, from CNN, our next guest from her uh, lofty perch hands out uh, relationship advice and does it in a very uh, keen way that I'm a fan of. She gets on her bully pulpit and does what this country's known for in its best of possible ways, gives great advice. The world of relationships, guys and men, that's what makes this world go round. Please welcome Dr. Wendy Walsh to the program. Doctor. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Good. How are you doing? Uh, good. Now let's get right to this disturbing Dr. Phil stuff. This is very disturbing. I think Dr. Phil is an evil person secretly. I think he's one of these guys who hides behind a mask of being a helpful person and with that enormous head that's the size of a parade float. Uh, he, uh, he wields uh, evilness and, uh, and uh, is, is, is some sort of... Why don't you tell me what you really think? I think he's like, uh, I think the FBI should be watching him is my point. No, I, you know what? This gentleman is a former boss of mine, and I drink his Kool-Aid. I love him. Okay. Well, fine. If that's what you no, think. To, you know, here's what you should know about him that a lot of people don't know. He's a serious family man, and he is so into his grandkids right now. You think he's, you know, Mr. TV host and Mr. CEO, but where he spends his time right now are with his sweet little grandbabies. Well, let me give you the point. Okay, so what do you think? He put out, out of nowhere, he puts out this tweet to his 1.1 million followers. If a girl is drunk, is it okay, in capital letters, to have sex with her? Reply yes or no to at Dr. Phil slash tag or hashtag teens accused. Now, where does that come from? I mean, I mean it could be okay, it's an interesting that question. That came I mean, from whoever's handling his social networking. Do you think this guy has time to sit around and tweet? He's busy bouncing his grandbabies on his neck. Oh, well, that's, that's what you say. I don't know. Okay to have sex with a girl who's drunk, it's called rape. Of course. Well, if no, a girl, no, no, wait, if a girl is drunk, it's rape? Yeah, it's the number yeah. one uh, weapon used in rape is alcohol. But but okay, but if she a girl really is can't drunk, consent. no I mean, kidding. Well, okay, let's talk about legally drunk. speaking. What does drunk mean? So where do I turn? Where do I turn Why? myself in? You know how many girls I've had sex with who are drunk? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean honestly, but if a girl, but, but who makes that call? Well, then you risk that girl showing up in court and and subpoenaing you, saying that you raped her. I mean, that's the You're main thing. You're kidding me. It's not to say, I mean, tipsy is different from drunk. I'm talking about passed out, stumbling, slurring, drunk. Still, I, 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 I still don't <laughs> see how I could have gotten laid. <laughs> What about, a scumbag. How about smoking crack and complaining their pimpers uh, beats them too hard? <laughs> <laughs> also not is okay. Is it okay to have sex with them? No. Uh, Mike, Mike Buschetti, what are your thoughts? Have you ever had sex with a sober person? Oh, that's terrible. Do you think that's true? Mike, I don't know. Mike, have you ever had sex with a sober well, girl? Well, a few drinks were okay. Like like uh, the doctor said, I mean, you know, a couple of drinks are okay. Not tipsy is okay. But not drunk. That's not right, though. That's like, that Did is you know drunk. Mike made up this phrase? Mike, give her the phrase you made up. I Earlier thought, in the show, you I said I thought you, James had it on tape. I don't know. I, <laughs> I, 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 I tried to Mike made up a phrase. Uh, did you, the, 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 this is a phrase you might, you, you might uh, like. Uh, the phrase goes, um, uh, hard work, luck is hard work meeting being really ready or something. You know? <laughs> luck is hard work meeting opportunity. Isn't that the same? Uh, oh, no, that, that's one of them. Wait, I think wait was, did you? Mike no. Lady made that up. <laughs> no, I didn't say opportunity. You made I said, that up. That's a no. thing. It's a thing. No, that's not, oh, that's not oh, what I said. Oh, Mike, <laughs> Mike Lady made that up. No, I didn't say that. I said work. And, <laughs> Thank you, doctor. No, no, I he said, tries to sneak no, this in. No, no, no. I said hard work. Is, is, is meet, people that <laughs> work hard with talent meet the right people at the right time. That's why I said something like that. I didn't say well, that. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> No, I didn't, I didn't claim that as my own, the opportunity. Doctor, no, no. thank you, because you just exposed <laughs> Mike. No, no, that, I did not say those words. I did not say those. That is a known fact. I know. I didn't say those words. I know that one already. No, no, no. We'll go to the back to the tape. <laughs> okay. Doctor, why do you... Uh, Mike, explain your, your peril to her as far as trying to get a girl on the road. Maybe doctor can help you with this. Well, Doc, I just, Doc, I just like nice women that, you know, that are cool and, you know, take her along with and, you know... Uh, it's not always fun and right. It's not always easy fun and the right person. I can't. I can't hear you very well. You're saying that you like <laughs> nice women who. I like nice women you? that are easy to get along with and fun. Easy to get along and fun, right? And like I said, it's just not always fun. Easy to find the right woman. Okay, so it seems to me what you're looking for is just a relationship that's only fun and games. That's well, not really about dealing with your childhood issues. Because, you know, we always pick the person who actually yeah. ignites our early life conflicts. I know. I know that it will definitely fill the conflict. Wow. Sure. 
Well, that's yeah. interesting. Wait, that, that that point right there is something I I hadn't heard before. We pick you the person. Well, no, no we pick the person pick. who ignites our childhood conflicts. Yeah, it's like what you do is you pick the person that most resembles whatever trauma, drama, bullshit happened to you in your early life, and then your unconscious is determined to work it out this time around. So I want to meet a girl who keeps saying to me, uh, it makes me say in my own head, am I gay, am I not gay, am I gay, am I not gay, am I gay, am I gay? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that was very good. Conflicts. <laughs> so, so what conflicts did you have, Mike? That's an interesting point you made. Bullying, right? Yeah, I was bullied a lot in childhood. Do you look for a girl who might bully you? No. Or? No, no, no. But you, maybe subconsciously you do. Is that what you're no, saying? No, but unconsciously he might be looking to convince somebody he's worthy. Oh. Well, here's no, here's something. I think the, I think the doctor hit you just right on the nail right in the head with me that. That's for sure. Well, here's another thing. Remember, Mike has been telling us that he's looking for an aggressive lady who's going to just take him and slap him around no, and make well, a man of him. That's the bullying thing right there. Yeah. Acting the well, whole business. Well, yeah. I, I met a doctor, I met aggressive men, some, some woman that, you know, that is aggressive towards me relationship-wise. Like a dominatrix. No, no, not that aggressive. I mean, you know, You're looking for a a, 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 a... a sadomasochist. No, 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 that's brutal. You're looking for a, <laughs> a, a, a super cute... Super aggressive, dominant, energetic Dumb. girl. So in other words, you're looking for uh, like a Phil McConkie. <laughs> uh, no, I'm looking for a girl that's kind of that's aggressive, but not like physically aggressive. I don't want to oh, be tied uh, up or beaten or anything. No, no. Are you, you sure? Do you think no. subconsciously? Maybe you do. Do you no. think subconsciously he does, Doctor? Yeah, I think unconsciously. And by the way, lay people love to use the word subconsciously, but really the term is unconsciously. Uh, no. I'm sorry. He's unaware of what's going on. But yeah, you know, he's either cho choosing these aggressive broads because they're enacting his, um, you know, his bully, so he can now take them on and dominate them, um, or he's looking for a woman who's higher status than him that he's going to prove I'm actually a good person. That's, that's, that's why. It. That's, that's doctor, you're, you're a genius. That's it because. You know why? I'm looking for a woman that is aggressive like that, that, that's very smart. I like women that are very super smart. But you're also looking for a woman who's 30. Well, a little bit older than that. I mean, you know. I mean, that's status, that's status right there, uh, higher status than you because she's a young, nubile, you know how, attractive 30-year-old. You know how old Mike is, doctor? Can you take a guess? Um, uh, well, actually, I read it online. He's 52. Oh, He's 52, you. yeah. There you go. So, I'm uh, looking for 30 year olds. Well, late 30s. You're going to get slammed in the whole family discussion. Do you want babies or not? I know. 52 is kind of late in life to have kids because. <laughs> no, I'm Well, sure. you're not going to have the children. No, but I'm saying it's not, it's not right not to us. You want to reproduce? Why not? Well, I don't know. Well, like, yeah. Do you think you're capable of reproduction? Oh, yeah. I'd, I'd be able to uh, reproduce a half of, well, two kids at least, I think. Really? Yeah. I don't know. Like, you I, think I don't that's think, a good idea? I don't think his penis is long enough to extend <laughs> past his stomach. No, no, it's it's pretty healthy that's when it comes terrible. back. But you know what I mean? Like, I, 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 I often have the same you know. problem with your penis. Like, sometimes if I have too much pizza, <laughs> my penis doesn't extend past my stomach long enough to have... To have intercourse. Well, you're fine if you're on the bottom. You're fine. Everything sure. floats well, down. Can you get a girl okay. pregnant on the bottom? You gotta lie on the bottom. She's gotta be on top. Yeah. Oh, well, Mike, you have to do that. Though. Yeah, I, I don't care. I mean, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well. But do you realize the the responsibility that comes with making a child? Of Mike? course, John. It's financial. It's an emotional thing. It's spiritual. It's a lot of stuff. What about the fact, Doctor, you said financial first? What does that say? I, I, that was the first thing I was going to say. It's really interesting that it's a money drain for him before it's about growing this other human psyche and teaching it about life and having a close emotional bond. It's all just a money drain, right? But right, that's yeah. what he claims it is. Well, I want to make sure they live well and comfortable and, you know what I mean, not to struggle and go through yeah, what I had to go through. In your defense, I should say that... You know, part of being a good parent for men is a lot of men self-identify as being a provider. Yes. And a lot of them right now are in identity crisis because so many women are making a lot more money than the guys. So, um, but that is part of being a good parent, and especially as a guy, to be a good protector provider. So I get it. How far into the vagina does your penis have to go to get a woman pregnant? <laughs> Not very far, apparently. Did you know you can get pregnant with a man's sperm that you've never had sex with? How is that possible? You didn't know this? Do sure. you know the whole reason why there's a head on the penis? No. It's a giant plunger. 
and its whole job is to scrape out any remaining sperm from another man that might be in there. Excuse me while I throw up violently. This is true. If you're not a really hygienic person, some sperm cells could actually be left on the, under the lip, you know, on the inside part, under the helmet, basically. And then you could go and have sex with somebody else and bring that other man's sperm. So in other words, like, like I could, I could impregnate a woman with like Kobe Bryant's sperm. Yes. Yes. If the woman who you were with last had been with Kobe Bryant. If a woman I was with last was with Kobe Bryant and she didn't wash properly. <laughs> I you could, I... didn't wash properly. Well, what do I have to do with Kobe Bryant? can't do anything about the sperm. It's up in there. So, you know, and then I have sex with her, and some of his sperm gets into my helmet. <laughs> yep. And then I don't, and then I don't, and then I don't wash it out properly. Yeah. Then I go, and then I could get a girl... What, could, Absolutely. could I impregnate her with like my kid and Kobe with. Bryant's kid? Could it be twins with one mine, one Kobe Bryant's kid? Yes, they could be. That's they're not possible. Twins. Are you well, kidding? Are you sure it is? Look it up in the medical book. So it could be Why twins? Why the penis is shaped like that? There's actually a book called Why is the penis shaped like that? Another interesting story. Wait a minute. There, I could have twins. One's Kobe Bryant's kid, one's my kid. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Boy, what by, by an inferiority complex my kid would have. <laughs> that poor kid. <laughs> dad, my dad, my brother's really good at sports and gets all ladies, and I just like pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Shut up and drop the carburetor in the car. <laughs> Mike, that is inst- that's astonishing. I know. It's true. That's I've not true. All kinds of facts. Do you want to know what percentage? You know why? The sexual double standard will never go away, and it makes a lot of sense for men to worry if a woman's promiscuous or not. Why? First of all, back in our hunter-gatherer times, if a um, hunter risked giving his vital resources, his protein that he collected, to a woman who he wasn't sure was having his baby, then his genes would have fallen out of evolution's chain, right? Because he was Mm -hmm. giving his protection provider to... um, you know, another man's genes. Right. So as a result, this is a very real fear. One study I read showed that a full 10% of babies born in American hospitals do not match the DNA of the doting daddy at that. You got to be kidding. How many? What percentage? I read 10%. 10%. That's astonishing. That's astonishing. So it's a very real thing. That's why I tell women, you know, you think you're this feminist saying, I don't believe in the double standard, but guys do. It's hardwired in them for a reason. Yeah. Oh, my God. (laughs) That's, that's unbelievable. And, and then once, there's that plunger problem, you know, the scraper and plunger thing, and they could be being pregnant, you know, innocently by another man's sperm. Mm. Now, Mike, can, can you, can your, does your penis extend past your stomach at this point? Uh, when you're erect? I, I may need a woman to help me you know, get to that point. What is she uh, going to do? I, you know, may, uh, uh, get it in good shape. Well, but when it's erect, though, do you, does it go past it? Yeah, oh, yeah. Mm, I don't know, doctor. Uh... Doctor, can you come to a physical examination? <laughs> oh, no. I'm not a medical doctor. Well, let's, uh, let's, that's how you get out of that one. We should <laughs> move We should move past this Mike making babies thing and address the issue at hand. Mike really is desperate for a woman. Well, not desperate. I'm happy where I am. But it, uh, No, have, you're not, no, Mike. You nice, talk about having, no, a new, uh, having a lady in your life well, all nice, the time. Because it would definitely, definitely make me feel a lot better, and I'd, but I'd be happy. But I understand happy. Mike has a lady in his life. No, he doesn't. His mother. Dr. Wendy. Oh, that's yeah. true. He's got his exactly. mother and his sister. His yeah. mo- and his yeah. mother does everything for him and won't let him. I mean, do you think that that's bad at 52, right? Yeah, she's, she's disabled him. Yeah. She's disabled um, him. Oh, no. Yeah. She, um, I, I think, you know, the, the sad thing about you, Mike, being able to connect with another woman for a long period of time is that you've got to separate from mom. And I think that might be mm. the scary part for you. Oh. I'm, I love her. I'm not afraid, but I love, like I said, Doc, it, it would be nice to have a great woman in my life. It's it's so vital. Well, Mike claims well, he, he can't do, like, she, she does all the laundry for him, and Mike claims that... Uh, she's very stubborn, Doc. I'll tell you, well, you know, explain that, Doc. This is bull crap. Explain that, Mike. She's, Doc, she's, no, my mom's been used to work. In your mind, you have a wife. All you're looking for is a mistress. Yeah. I'm it, telling you, you've got to do the psychological separation. It doesn't matter about the mm. laundry, the food, whatever. Some people can have their mom do their laundry and, and, well, maybe not that, but eat over at her house once in a while and not feel emotionally entwined. 
but I suspect you might be a little more emotionally entwined than you admit. Uh, Mike, uh, admit that admit that the doctor's right here. No, she is. I, 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 I enjoy listening to you talk. You're right, because, I, you know, you are. I'm not going to argue at so, all. So how are you going to fix it? have to pick one, how basically. Fix it? Just go out, you know, go out, uh, get dressed nice, look for some woman and enjoy myself. Is that the answer, doctor? Get dressed nice and look for some woman and enjoy himself? Well, and what do you mean enjoy yourself? I mean, I mean just meet them and get to, get to meet different sex? women. And ha having a secure bond with somebody involves sometimes fighting. Hmm. Well, you can fight girls. He, we learned that the other night. Yeah, you can fight ladies. Oh, yeah. No, well, but, uh, you know, the, rough, the road to intimacy is one of rupture followed by repair. So you have to do the repair process afterwards to really fall in love. Yeah. You know oh. that, right, Artie? I'm sure you have. You of course. Your fiance. I've been and ruptured and repaired uh, several times. Yeah. And uh, you know, uh, finally, I'm, I seem to be at a great place for my fiance. But it was, a, you know, uh, I have my issues, and it could be a very rocky road. And I just think if Mike goes, gets into a relationship with a girl, when the girl is introduced to his mom and the laundry, and he lives at home in the attic, don't you think it's going to be hard for the girl to no. stay in? No, Artie. I mean, Mike, you, you seriously live with your mom? Well, I, I try to tell people this last night, the other night. Uh, my mom, what do you call it, has heart disease and leukemia. And she, what do you call it, has been a disability for years. So You're I... caring for your mom. Yes, I help, pay, I help her financially very much. Mm-hmm. And, and like I said, if, if I had more... pay one rent instead of two. Yeah, if I could afford two, I'd, I'd be out. But here's hockey. the only argument. That there's five other people in the house doing the same thing. No, there's seven other people. Who? Well, my friend, my, friend, my sister... Uh, Mike is Mike is 52. He has two brothers who are 48 and 49. Well, my brother lives with his girlfriend downstairs in the house, and, and her, her son. They all contribute to their, How their big own part of the house? house. It's pretty big, Doc. It's like uh, three floors. It's a double. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty pretty big. I like it though. It's it's I got to you know. So are you yeah, overly attached to that? I think your family's that, a little maybe? fused, honey. Fused is nobody can remember whose problem is whose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just don't want nothing to happen to my mom. I want to make some more money. I understand. And just That's get her part out. of the whole fusion is that this guilt. So I'm suspecting that you feel that if you do something for you, which is get your own place, find a nice lady, that you will be so consumed with guilt that you're not taking care of your mom. See, we mm -hmm. think the direct opposite is true, that his mother would actually throw a block party if Mike left the house. <laughs> and uh, she probably, doctor, she would fire a cannon off in the middle of the night. <laughs> See, I, I, I think she'd actually have friends over and enjoy herself for the first time in years. She'd be like, uh, so maybe the separation should happen. She's yeah. Like, because have you thought about what's going to happen when she does finally pass away? What are you going to do? Oh, God, yeah, that's right. I'd, I'd be lost. Yeah, I'd Mike, be... what would you do? You're 52. You have to start thinking of these things. You got to start to transfer your secure base from one to another. I know there's some some pretty nice apartments in, uh, that are out there. I'm sure. Well, you, boy, the morning period was very quick with you. No, yeah. <laughs> How deep? Yeah, yeah, you're right. I got a more. There's some pretty nice apartments out there. Hey, I think I think Dr. Wendy needs to know what happened after the last time we talked to her. After the last time we talked to you, Mike became in a relationship uh, the next day on wow. Facebook. There. Well, wait, she, wait, on Facebook or in real life? Well, Facebook. she's a long distance uh, no, friend. No, that's not a real relationship. But, no, well, that's, that's, right to, but, that's right to her, too. But he was willing to put it out there that he was. Yeah, that's a step. Uh, but then I guess we have to take a break. we got to take a break. But uh, then when we come back, we're going to get into this a little bit more because uh, John's bringing up a good point. I, I, this was only on Facebook, and Mike has not been in a real relationship uh, in a long time. We have to yeah. discuss that. Well, I, I, I tried my best to get into something. Back after this.